window and through the front door. Lots of places and things to explore. With Jack and Susie and all their friends. The fun and learning never ends. Mom, can I go explore with Susie? Sure, just make sure to be back before it gets dark. Yes! Hey, Susie, do you want to go exploring with me? Exploring? Exploring is my favorite. That sounds like fun. Mom, can I go exploring with Jack? Sure. Just make sure your toys are put away. Yay! Thank you, thank you! She said yes! I'll be right down. Can you help me put away all these toys? One, two, three, four. Bye. All done. <laughs> Great job. Have fun. So where are we going? To go see Billy Beaver. Yay, I love going to visit Billy Beaver. Me too. What do you think he's up to today? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's snacking on wood chips. Get it? Chips? <laughs> chips. <laughs> or maybe he's taking a nap in the riverbed. Bed. That's a good one. Oh, look. There he is. He doesn't look like he has any chips in his bed at all. Hey, Billy Beaver. Well, hi there, kids. What are y'all up to today? We came to see what you're working on today. Okay, well, I'm working on a bridge. A bridge? Yep. The old one washed up with the last storm. I've got to repair it so we can get across the river. Wow, that's so cool. Say, I could use some help to build this bridge. Would y'all help a beaver out? Why, yes, sir. We would love to help. I'm in. That sounds awesome. Fantastic. Well, I need some supplies. I need three pieces of wood, four pieces of rope, and five nails. Well, you can count on us, Billy Beaver. We're on the job. Glad to hear it. Just go to my workbench and you can find all the supplies there. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, good. We found his workbench. Look, there's the wood. How much wood do we need? I need three pieces of wood. Can you help us count the pieces of wood? One, two, three. Yay! We got all three pieces. Now on to the next task. Now we need to find the rope. Do you see any rope? There it is. We need four pieces of rope. Can you help us count them? One, two, three, four. All right, the last thing we need is five nails. Do you see any nails? There they are. Can you help us count them out? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we nailed it. <laughs> it looks like we have everything. Yay, let's go give it to Billy Beaver. Ha 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 ha, wow. Is that everything? yep -a -roni. Let's just double check it all. I needed three pieces of wood. One, two, three. And four pieces of rope. One, two, three, four. And five nails. One, two, three. Four, five. It's all here. Fantastic. Would y'all like to help me build it now? That would be awesome. Ooh, that was a good day's work. Thank you two for all your help. You're welcome. Yep, it was so much fun. Well, you two had better start getting home. It's getting late. Yes, sir. See you later, alligator. I'm a beaver, not an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun, Jack. We should go exploring more often. Great idea. There's so much to do and see. Bye, Jack. Jack, is that you? Yes, ma'am. Did you have fun? So much fun. We helped Billy Beaver build a bridge. Oh, that's so great, Jack. 
Your dad's on the way home and you can tell us all about it at dinner. Well, hey kids, it's Minister Monty Moose here. Today, Billy helped us learn some great things about how to build a bridge. Wasn't that a rip? But did you know that more important than building a bridge out some nasty boards and some rusty old nails is how we build our own lives. God's word says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24, Jesus is that rock we should build on. Make sure you include Jesus in every part of your life and build it upon him. Hi kids, Matthew Knight here. And did you know that God made beavers with special abilities? Living in the forest is no easy task, but God gave beavers these special abilities to help them thrive and survive. Hey, that rhymed. Looks like I'm a poet, and I didn't even realize that I was one. You see, God gave beavers very special teeth that never stop growing, believe it or not. We all know that chewing on trees isn't good for your teeth. But see, beavers don't have to worry about it at all because their teeth will grow right back, just like mine. As a matter of fact, beavers' teeth can grow up to four feet per year. That's like 16 cheeseburgers tall. You see, beavers use their special teeth to create beaver dams. These beaver dams are home for the beavers indeed, but they're not the only ones that benefit from them. Beaver dams create water holes that attract all sorts of other animals from the wilderness, like fish, frogs, ducks, and more. Now I know what you may be thinking, but isn't a beaver just a rodent? How can it do all that? Well, hold on now, let me explain. Beavers are rodents. However, they are the largest rodents in North America, other than myself, of course. Beavers can grow up to three and four feet long and weigh up to 65 pounds, which is about 250 cheeseburgers, hmm. If only I had a way to show you guys all these cheeseburgers. Oh wait, I can't! It's got onions in there. As large as beavers are, there are other larger animals that would love to have a beaver cheeseburger. So God outfitted them with another special ability. Beavers can hold their breath underwater for 15 minutes. That's three minutes shorter than me. This allows them to be safe from predators underwater. Beavers are excellent swimmers because of their special tail. They can also see really well underwater. You see, God has given them transparent eyelids that act as goggles when they are underwater. And unlike our human goggles, they don't suck your eyes out. Only the careful and wise hand of a master creator could have created an animal as amazing as the beaver. From endlessly growing teeth to built-in goggles to a special tail for swimming, God truly did think of everything. But not only has he made the beaver special, he's made you and I special as well. So whenever you see a beaver, please look at what God has done special for you. <laughs> <laughs>